my name is Stephen Kwekwahim. I work with Ministry of Food and Agri, the Agri Engineering Department, AESD. That is where I work as a technician engineer. So concerning this training, I'm the technician here to train the um, operators and then the farmers on how to use the equipment and then the machine that has been given to them. And when we came, we took them through the safety precautions that they're supposed to know before they handle the machine. Then after the safety precaution, we took them through the uh, combine harvester, how the process, how the combine harvester works. I mean, from the harvesting up to the um, threshing and then before you discharge and all that. So I took them through and some of the uh, daily maintenance that they're supposed to do. They, they, most of them were willing to learn, just that the days that they, were, they, 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 they gave us to train them was too short. So they have to just try and then uh, run things quickly so that they can be able to operate the rest of them, other machines. If we were to have more time, we could have taken our time and then trained them. Because most of them have not used these machines before and they are new to the machine. And the days that was given to us well, is too short for us to train them, for them to be uh, very good on the handling of those machines. So I think as time goes on, they, they will need more training days for them to continue. My name is Agwajo Kennedy from Accra, from MOFA, Agri Engineering Department, a technician engineer. I came here to facilitate a training for some of the trainees from Western, uh, Central Region. Yeah. We trained them through handling of agriculture machinery. That is farm machinery. We did the land preparation, with the power tiller. We finished, we did planting with the rice transporter. After that, we did the harvesting with the combine and the reaper, as reaper. About the trainee, majority were able to learn, but due to the limited time that we have over here, they are not able to have full that experience, especially in the food condition, they did not have much experience. The objective of the training is to equip the operators of these the machines that have been given to the farmers like Rika with the requisite knowledge so that they be able to handle the machine properly for the machine to live its lifespan. I am quite impressed about their attitude and mentality towards the whole training. The various facilitators have done their best, giving them all the needed requisite knowledge within the period that is allotted, allotted to them. And the participants actually as also showed interest in learning and actually showed interest in operating the machine after leaving this place. Even though the time wasn't enough, but then they've been able to acquire certain skills that I hope that when they go back, the idea is that after here, we'll go back to the various districts where they are to see how they are going to manage the machines at those places. AESD has uh, started this initiative trying to bring women on board in tractor oper and other machinery operations. We have what they call uh, women in the driving seats and they've been organizing training, serious training for them. But unfortunately, we've not had enough from these areas. That is why nobody, we have some from central region. When we go to uh, a Wutu prison camp right now, as you speak, we have a tractor operator who was trained by AES. He's a lady and he's operating as you speak. We have others, a couple of them that are in the region that are, but unfortunately they are not from the district that are under the project. That is why we didn't have it. So yeah, we've been also saying that we've been talking to them. And as time goes, we are hoping that this is just the beginning. And we are hoping that you will bring them on board as time goes. This two days training, I learned a lot about how to keep machines very neat, how to maintain them, and how to save yourself and at accidents about machines. And how to operate it. In fact, uh, I was surprised that uh, how we are suffering about our farming at our area. This time I've got to know that uh, but, uh, these machines can help us a lot and then we can benefit from it. This is my first time I have seen some already. So now, yesterday and today, then I learned more things from the machines operating and then how to use to cut the rice and how to use to benefit the everything. I'm with Bender Services Group. We are the IP in charge of this project. Basically, we are training um, the operators under the project so that they can use the machinery to plow the land, they use for all the activities that they need to do for the rice cultivation, the improved practices. 
Um, we are training, we are expected to train 25 in all, but unfortunately we had 24 out of the 25 who were expected. So um, this basically the step down training, we've already done training for um, TOTs and this is a step down for uh, the operators. We have five uh, operators coming from each district that we are working in, that is from Gumwa East, Asen North, Asen South, Asen Fusu District and then Chufu Atimuka. Somewhere along the project, if we get opportunity to train the woman, we will do that as well. I was seed processing units in the end, and I said, If you are a woman, you will be 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 a so that we are very okay, my but we have forgotten that I am a basa basa basa. Now, those things you know, only hope you are you will not get job work to do again. These are some of the things African, your mentality, your mentality, a bear basa basa. I didn't want to be a baby, you might be a baby. So, these are some of the things we need to look at, yes, so that you can use equipment. Equipment, you know. I Juma today. I be here. Be assured that what you do is you have to clean the various parts, concern the other part, so that a china a rukwa be be a yeka mama o. We um, but the other one, this year no akoshe mi ka the car that I brought here. No why a fee, but ni ni na obi bi sama but no makare because no sutoi. So road no tia na oye de mu. So, Mikwa, and Sana Bapak. Do you know in the central regions, the population is 2.8 billion? I say central region, yet to do what I central and in the 2.8 million. Among them, the farmers have a population of 2 million. I say out of uh, 2.8, you know, 2 million, uh, we are equal for. You are the only a selected person, 25. It's a wonderful. <laughs> it was uh, out of two million. No, ah, yeah, you move out. We are twenty-five prepare for this training. No, just a mere strong compare. Um, that is, you I always say, uh, saying you are the selective person. I say mere strong compare. When you are using the uh, aggregate equipment, uh, it's a possible to saving labor cost and labor time. I say, yeah, you use machinery now. But more important thing is uh, it's uh, possible to increase the yield of productivity. And also, the home case is that uh, when you go back to your communities, when you go back to your communities, you using the freely the uh, equipment, but you should follow the regulation by EMC. That means the district officers guidance and explanations. You also machines, no, yeah, they are brand but you yeah, make sure say you be use na ya di eh eh mrabia e di machines no so no e say it me di na no pepe pepe your committees, you and the committees who eh in she share here. Me a participant. I say mo mo start here mo who say mo free five different districts. In a central region it was 17. And T S A strike average, let us say, and do thirty percent, and I'm more representing the whole central region. Let us say, what tax him? How much the tax? Send your director can you know? Or say, yeah, the Adibia Shemu is saying, and now you're very expecting your money pre. Mukwa, I didn't know I bet you're more hano. Mubaya, when we say more, yeah, question is be. One can out now who I say, may buy an ammy in my dewey, see, I may be the account. Men, my young fan called that. I am Princess Opuku from Asimfusu Municipal Assembly. Uh, the crops 
head of crops at the, the Department of Agriculture. And actually, we are here for a three-day program on agric mechanization, where we've been taught on how to operate these machines. Uh, we've been we've been in the system for quite a long time in the rice production, yet uh, we, haven't, we haven't gotten the chance to be learning or even be seeing these machines as we saw like three days ago. So I think uh, it's really helped us and we are going to have the opportunity to use these machines and to make sure we upgrade and improve on our productivity uh, as, as rice production is concerned. So uh, we are here and we are grateful for the opportunity given us to learn and then go and upgrade ourselves. Okay, regarding maintenance of the machines that we've learned over here, uh, we've been taught that the most appropriate way to maintain your machine is to make sure it's cleaned regularly after work and make sure it's well serviced before you try to even start the machine. After working, you make sure all the bolts and nuts and everything about the machine is well maintained before uh, the next use again. So uh, we are going back and then we are going to put all these things in place and make sure they work and make sure we maintain our machines as we, they have given to us. So in the next four, five, ten years, we are still going to be able to use these machines to improve on our performance.